Hey, how's it going? I'm Ida Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay. So, at the end of the last one, I said that we would be going back to narration stuff for this one, mostly because um, my latest book will be launching soon and I've just realised I don't have a promo trailer or anything ready for it. Oh god, I've got like less than a week to go and there's so much stuff that I probably should be doing and haven't actually thought about yet. I mean, as it is right now, um, I have a friend working on the book cover um, for me because he's awesome at Photoshop and I'm not so great at it. <laughs> um, so that's, yeah, he, he usually does pretty good work. He was the one who helped me out with the cover for Hyena Boy. Um, so like the full wraparound cover for the actual book version for Hyena Boy. He's the one who helped put that together and I personally think it looks amazing um, and the cover at the moment for this one is shaping up like really well. I mean it's not a wrap round cover um, at the moment because I'm initially just going to be releasing it in ebook format um, and then we'll see how, they go, how it goes for whether or not I uh, go for paper book version as well but it's such a massive book. <laughs> <laughs> that I, you know, I, I like trying to keep my costs for my readers as low as possible because they're taking a chance on an unknown author uh, in a lot of ways. So I would rather, you know, make it as accessible for people as possible rather than, you know, bringing out something that's going to have a huge price tag on it that's not going to sell because nobody knows who I am and nobody's going to take a chance on me. So, um, yeah, that's that's why the colours I see is initially just going to be released in um, ebook format, and then um, see how it goes. May get a paper paperback release um, before the end of next year, uh, as I sort of eventually did with with Echo. Um, although with Echo, Echo wasn't quite as long a book, so it made sense to sort of bring out the the paperback version um, slightly sooner. Anyway. Um, Again, fingers crossed, this is the first time I'm publishing with Kindle Direct instead of with Lulu. Um, so far, so far the way they kind of organise things feels a lot nicer. Um, or they, they at least, it, it feels like the tips and the advice that they're giving you, like, oh, that's available for you, is easier to find. Um, I found one of the problems with using Lulu for some reason, it wouldn't recognise I was logged in whenever I was going onto the community to look for like information about various things, and then I couldn't find that information because you had to be on the logged into the community in order to actually see the full stuff. So, um, but the, the information for it with Kindle Direct seems to be like much more accessible, much easier to um, to find, much more straightforward to um, to actually uh, figure out what you're supposed to be doing. I also used uh, Kindle Create, um, which is their PDF. PDF? Is that the right word? <laughs> um, it, it's, you know, how, how you can convert it into the correct format um, for the ebook. Um, and that was, I mean, I've used other uh, for, um, for Luli when they were having um, issues with the uploading uh, last year. I did use um, an, a PDF creator. Uh, book creator um, that I found um, to with to, to sort of you know, get an updated version of uh, Hyena Boy. Um, I made a couple of edits as I was working on the colours I see. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean they were just like like little tiny minor line changes, but they 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 were, they were enough and they were important enough for me to feel like they made enough of a difference for it to be worth making the change sort of official um but yeah I, I found that was really complicated it was really difficult to to work out what you were supposed to be doing it was a timely like process um but with kindle create apart from it didn't like the file size from my word document because the word document was obviously huge <laughs> but apart from that it was really nice and straightforward. You could make edits to the thing before you actually, like you, you could like even type in it, I think. Um, 
Yeah, I, I think you could have like even gone so far as to actually typing it, so it was it it reacted more like something that you could alter and change and make sure you were absolutely happy with, um, opposed to the other creator where it was just like it would just create the final document and if you needed to make any changes to it, you have to re-upload everything and it was like, so much more complicated. But now the Kindle Create was like really straightforward, really nice. Um, yeah, the it did give me like less choice as to like um, the fonts that I would use for like the the chapter num names, uh, the chapter uh, things and the heading, uh, the book title and stuff like that. There were less options, but when I'm sort of like scrolling through the list of like how you can sort of like tag things, it had things like title and author's name and. Um, it allowed me to format my dedication. I'm, I'm, I'm doing dedication. It's not really a dedication. It's just like a little forethought before you go into the rest of the book kind of thing. Um, more than it is a dedication. But it had like all these proper options for doing everything. And, you know, it was nice. And I said it was straightforward. It was simple. It was easy. It allowed me to do the things that I wanted to, to do in order to, to make it look good. Um, and, you know, the, the other thing that the... The sort of like the advice, like how how to sort of lay out and format and things you can consider when you're um, creating your your ebook, is that I actually made the suggestion of, hey, why not like put a author page at the end of your book or put mentions like uh, put um, uh, what are they call uh, previews to other books that you have out, and that's kind of like. You know what? Well, I could do something like that. I, you know, I I read enough Kindle books. I know that you get to the end and then there's like five extra pages of stuff. I mean, I haven't put an author's page in, but I have put um, the blurb for Hyena Boy and for Echo in. Um, so yeah, that that felt good. That felt like a a positive thing to sort of to sort of do. And it was a bit different from what I've done before. And Yes, I can always sort of go in and add those things in, but it, one of the things I found as, I sort of, as I've been going through and, and um, working on this process, um, one of the things I've, I've kind of been thinking is maybe I want to move Echo and Heine Boy over to Kindle Direct. It will depend very much on, you know, how things go with the colours I see first. Um, I don't want to move them, if, you know, if they're, if they're, you know, the fact that they are now sort of going to be linked to, to me and, and to, um, to the colours I see, because I do have those insert pages at the end, um, you know, that's uh, one way of kind of getting people to know about them, and they are already available on Kindle, that's the thing. They're, it's not like they're not already available on Kindle, it's just, you know, they're not necessarily advertised it as well as they could be. Um, and if the colours I see can get a bit more traction because, uh, like, categorising it was so much better. I, I just felt like the way you could categorise it was was better. Um, yes, you can't use quite as so many tags, but you can be more focused with the tags that you are using. You can uh, work out exactly what you need. And I, I, I'm happier with, with all of that sort of that sort of process and that sort of side of thing um, and the way the, the, the book is looking and, and stuff like that. It looks like a proper ebook. <laughs> it's quite exciting. <laughs> so like the last thing I need to do is get like the cover in place and then I can uh, pull out photos and, and stuff like that. And fingers crossed for the December 1st release, which is um, what I planned it to be when I, when I started this at the beginning of the month. Um, as I said, I'm still waiting on the cover being finished. It's sort of almost there. It, it's just sort of like me, it's like the title put on and my author name put on. And it, it is like really close to like being there at this, at this point. Um, just those last couple of details, that's what we need to go on. And then we'll have a cover and then I can, you know, sort out the final things. There's, there's maybe enough time to go so I can jump a bit of, of uh, pre-business and stuff like that. And then looking at the ways that Kindle Direct allows me to reach readers, because obviously I'm still an unknown author. Yes, I've got books out there. And I've, I've just, I've heard that it is easier um, to get yourself noticed with Kindle Direct than it is with Lulu, because nobody knows 
who knew who, 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 who are, whereas with Kindle Direct, it's affiliated with Amazon. Everybody knows what Amazon is. Everybody knows what Kindle is. So hopefully their ways of being able to promote and, and being able to get like the information out there is going to make things a lot easier. And um, I'm going to be able to, to drum up a, a bit more interest. Um, but, you know, touch, <laughs> touch wood and all that at the moment. So I have no idea how it's going to go. There is like a final screen. That way you can like set the prices and everything like that. I've not been to yet because um, I, I can't skip on when I don't have a when I don't have a cover and I need the cover to go on first. <laughs> and then I can skip onto that screen and like see the various um, release options that that are sort of given to me and see if there's anything I can sort of do there. I, as I said, I've no idea what that final page is going to look like yet. Whether it's just you can set a price whether you can do like a initial special offer for this many days. Um, I'm hoping there's something like that. Because something like that would really help. <laughs> but right right now it's kind of like, a, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how things are going to, to go. I don't know how things are going to be. I just know at this moment in time that it's, uh, that it's new and it's exciting and like the process. It's, it feels so much easier. I mean, with, with Lulu, there was like so many pages that you had to go through for like doing anything. And it's not the easiest thing when you kind of have to like go back and, and alter anything. And it's just, I'm not, nothing against Lulu because I use Lulu and I like Lulu. But in comparison, this is a lot easier. <laughs> and that's, that's what it comes down to. It's so much easier with this. Uh, with Kindle Direct than it has been with Lulu. It just feels easier. It feels like I can be more focused and more streamlined and get across the information that I need to get across. And I mean, even like the amount of space they give you for your blurb, so like, like Lulu gives you almost nothing. Um, in fact, one of the reasons why, um, why the blurb quite often doesn't match up completely with Echo and, and Hyena Boy, like various places I've been able to put a bit more blurb on um, than, than there is necessarily uh, available on its like, like, like on Lulu or in its like basic descriptions. It's because Lulu gives you almost no space to write a blurb, whereas like Kindle Direct, I have like so many characters, I mean, like so many characters, I could have like doubled the amount almost that I'd written. I, I didn't need to add any more. The verb that I've gone for works. You don't need any more than that. And it feels like I've captured Zell's personality and it feels right for, you know, the, the story and, and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited. It's a, it's a good blurb. I, mean, I like writing good blurbs and I do get advice from Jade when I'm writing a blurb. I get uh, advice from a friend who's, who's working on the cover for me when I'm doing my blurb, and they both bring sort of different elements and different things into it. Uh, Jade's really good because she she reads the books herself. Uh, she's like my first reader. Um, she understands the characters a lot better, so she's able to sort of tell me whether or not I've captured the personality right, whether or not I've missed anything important that maybe I need to feed in. Um, whereas my other friend is much more on like the technical side of things, how I can sharpen it up like dropping unnecessary words, tightening it up here, making it more direct there. And then I go back over it again and, you know, um, make sure that the, the style is my style and the, the character is coming across clearly enough. And so between the three of us, we, we do come up with something that is, that is good and something that I'm happy with. And at the end of the day, I need to be happy with it. I need to be happy that this blurb is selling the book that, I'm, that I've written and that I'm trying to sell to other people. Uh, <laughs> it's the point of a blurb after all. Um, so yeah, it, it's that sort of stage right now <laughs> where it's kind of, it's a lot of, it's been a really exciting process uh, to get this far. I was there using Kindle Create. Uh, I like, I like Kindle Create. I think if, you know, even if, this doesn't necessarily do that much better because you know I, I'm still <laughs> still not very good at like self promoting and advertising, <laughs> and I know I know I fail so hard with that kind of stuff. Um, 
but even if you know I, I'm still lacking in that side of thing I think I think I would go with Kindle um with Kindle Direct Publishing again just because it's been a nicer process um just because I, I like Kindle Create as a as a creating app um it's, it's like so easy and so straightforward to use it's just yeah, it, it feels like it's been a good process so far. Um, although next time I might give myself more time to recover creation because, you know, when you have, when you have a friend that's doing you a favour, you know, you, you, they are doing a favour and it, it's a case of, you know, you are then very much on on their time time frame. And, you know, you know, my friend has been really good. And he has been trying to work on it as much as possible, but, you know, he's got his own issues and um, own stuff going on. So... Sometimes that's like, I really, really want, you know, this to be done now, but, you know, you've got to allow for, for other things. So I think, you know, next time maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll start asking for the cover a little bit sooner. <laughs> um, because he always does such good work. He, he does. And, you know, right from, right from the beginning, um, I've always trusted him with, with my cover work. Um, maybe, I mean, I know I sort of try to forget that time forgets and um, time forgets and uh, zero conformity are out there because they need a lot of work. <laughs> they need a lot of work to bring them up to my current standard. And I think at some point I will legitimately bite the bullet, retire those books, get them sorted and then re-release them um, with decent covers because uh, the covers for both of those were ones that I kind of done myself. Um, I know with Echo, both versions of the Echo cover, I did create myself, but I did create it with his help, um, with his advice, where he was sort of like, you know, yes, no, you could do this, you could do that. Um, and it was really hard because <laughs> I'm not very good at that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, no, he, he definitely does good work um, and he's definitely somebody that I, you know, will probably look to to continue doing good work for me in the future. <laughs> just, just because he's very good at kind of knowing, based on, you know, the kinds of things that I'm telling him, what I could do with the cover. And it's whether it's whether he's helping me do it myself or whether he's doing it for me, um, he's very good at understanding the visual elements that are needed in order to get a cover that looks good. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I do like working for him, uh, for this kind of stuff. <laughs> hopefully, you know, um, hopefully I'll be able to work with him again on, on the release of the next book. I mean, certainly it would be nice for him to do all of the Ned Rayson covers, um, especially now that I'm uh, I've just just started the editing process of the third book. <laughs> um, although I haven't been working very hard on it yet because you know Pokemon Sword and Shield is still new and still haven't completed it yet. It's still taking you know I, I, it's still something I want to be doing with some of my free time, um, especially when you know I've got you know so much else to sort of think about and and, and going on. It's nice to just sort of take a step back and kind of go, you know what, I just want to relax and, and not think about all of this work stuff for a bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, that that's going slowly at the moment, but you know, fingers crossed, hopefully the third book will be released before the end of next year, so that will have been one book a year for the last three years, and then uh, about, no, this is the third year, four years then at that point, uh, which isn't bad. It's not bad for for someone who, you know, took a, took time off. I mean, I could I could do better. <laughs> I could release more because I definitely have a backlog that you know to get out there. Um, but it's uh, yeah, editing takes a lot of work and, and a lot of time, and uh, it's all about finding that time and, and finding that energy to sort of to sort of do it. And at the moment, all my energy is with the Neverating series. Um, so it's just sort of sticking with the Neverating series and yeah, okay, it's slow releasing at the moment, but once I'm through the Neverating series, then I can sort of like go, okay, right, 
you know, regardless of how well they're selling, I've got this backlog of uh, this back catalogue of books that I could be getting out there. Let's, you know, let's focus on that. Let's see what I can do with that. Um, let's see where I can go from here. So yeah, it's all quite exciting at the moment. Really. It's exciting, you know, for me. <laughs> And that's what matters, right? Um, all right, okay. So next week, um, instead of just talking about the process, which is what this one has kind of ended up being, um, I'm going to talk a bit more about the colours I see and actually talk about the colours I see. Because <laughs> the last few times I've gone to talk about the colours I see, I've ended up talking about everything else. Um, so, yeah, next time I'll be talking about the colours I see, a little bit about the plot. Um, and various things like that, just to sort of, because it'll be like, it'll, it'll be the week of the release, so that it will have released on the 1st, and it'll be, you know, several days after the release, so it's still a good time to be um, dropping something very, very relevant to, to, the, to the colours I see. Um, I mean, again, I know the ones where I talk about all this writing stuff, but my blogs don't do as well, but you know, I've, I've got to do it. I've got to sort of get this stuff out there and hopefully, you know, eventually people will appreciate <laughs> the enthusiasm I usually put into these um, because I do get quite excited talking about all the rest of the stuff, uh, especially the narrator stuff at the moment. Um, but as it is right now, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I hope you are looking forward to the next one and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!